New Yorkers should go about our lives, continue doing what we do normally. You can rest assured there will be constant updates on the situation. We understand some things about this disease. As I said, others are still unclear. But what is clear is the only way you get it is with substantial contact with someone who already has it. You don't get it from a surface. You don't get it from glancing or very temporary contact based on what we know now. Uh, I understand the fear. We've gone through this before, Zika virus, Ebola, etc. But let's have some connection to the reality of the situation. Uh, and as the doctor said, you know, catching the flu right now is a, a, a much greater risk uh, than anything that has anything to do with coronavirus. You should come to Chinatown. Precautions have been taken by our city. Uh, we know that there is a concern about tourism traveling all throughout the world, uh, but we think it's very safe to be in Chinatown and hope that others will come. China condemned what it said were excessive restrictions imposed by a number of countries, including visa rejections and denying entry to persons with Hubei-issued passports. The World Health Organization's temporary recommendations do not recommend any travel and trade restrictions. We are all in this together. It concerns every country and everyone in this world. The head of the WHO echoed the sentiments while commending China on the steps it's taken to prevent the spread beyond its borders. If it weren't for China's efforts, the number of cases out China, outside China would have been very much higher. And it could still be, but we have the opportunity now to work aggressively to prevent that from happening. On the one hand, it seems intuitive, shut down the border, things will spread less. But it has all sorts of uh, other effects that you might not want. Uh, for example, pr preventing the, the movement of supplies across borders. So I'm one of the majority of people who do not know whether the travel ban is the best way to go. Uh, happily, I'm not the person who has to make that decision. The WHO also said it was working with Google to ensure that searches yield fact-based scientific results and that it's also working with social media outlets to help stop the spread of misinformation.